things coming along for you there, uh, uh, health wise? Yeah, it's, it's coming along slow, but you know, gradually improving each and every day. Um, really have no timetable, but you know, the biggest thing is make sure I come back, you know, really 100% so I can, you know, uh, help help this team uh, win more games. Like, seems like you and, and Jayon and, and uh, Jay, yeah. like, uh, yeah, all three of you have a hard time being healthy at, at the same time. I guess it seems like. You know? Yeah, it's. it's one of those weird years, man. Um, you know, normally this just doesn't happen, but you know, it's one of those things where you know you kind of just gotta live with it. You know, at the end of the day, too. You know, my biggest thing is trying to get back on the field as fast as possible, but at the same time, you know, making sure that I'm healthy and you know that I can help the team win. What's the hurdle you got to cross? Just being able to feel good, move mm -hmm. around, and do. Mm -hmm. Re yeah, really, the, it's really going to be on a call on the doctors and, you know, the, the people that are, you know, making those decisions. Um, you know, really for me right now, just to put in the work as much as, as much as I can to, you know, get back on the field as, as fast as possible. What are some of the things that you're doing to be mm -hmm. able to, you know, mentally, mm -hmm. physically to be able to get out there and kind of pick up where you left off? Mm -hmm. um, really right now, man, staying engaged in the game, um, being in all the meetings, being in all the uh, – Things that I would normally do if I was healthy, and um, you know, really, that's keeping me in the game and keeping me, you know, up to date with all the things that's going on. And you know, uh, you know, coaches and the players and everything, you know, they've been treating me really good as far as my ankle checking in on me, making sure that I'm good. And you know, um, you know, you can't ask for much more than that. You know, it's the type of team I, you know, we're playing, playing for, I'm playing for, and you know, for me right now, just to make sure that I'm healthy so I can, you know, help these guys. A lot, of, a lot of hamstring injuries on this team this year. Mm -hmm. You've had one in, in the past, mm -hmm. at least one. Mm -hmm. What's that like to deal with and recover from? Is yeah. it a particularly annoying one? Yeah, or I mean, it's you know, it's one of those things that happens around the league, man, and, and it's pretty common. Um, you know, it can be a little frustrating, but at the same time, you know, it's more on just making sure that you you, you do all the little things to make sure that you you try to prevent from any other further injuries as far as the hamstring. Um, you know, hamstrings are ligament tears, which you know they can you know, keep you out for however long. But, you know, it's more about just making sure you do all the little things and allowing time really to do his work. There are a lot of patience on the comeback there where you might feel like you're, you're ready, but mm -hmm. you got to give it more than you think? Yeah, it's, it's really one of those things where I'm just, you know, really listening to the doctors. The doctors really had to say so on anything. And, you know, for me, all I got to do right now is just put as much work as I can. Um, you know, I'm a little eager to get back out there as fast as I can. You know, I sit there on the couch and watch the game, and I seen all my guys eat out there. It's, it's, it's a beautiful sight to see. I've, it's actually been a, a while since I've actually sat down and watched the game, and it's it's probably the the craziest thing I've I've seen. You know, just seeing those guys out there having fun, man. It just made me want to go back out there and get back out there as fast as possible. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little mad because I, I didn't want to break that streak. Um, but, you know, that's the name of the game, man. Uh, you know, you got to learn how to, you know, deal with adversity, you know, whether it's, you know, injuries or anything else. And, you know, the things that you do and the work that you put in until up to that point when it's time to play, um, you know, that'll help you out with, your, with a better, smooth transition. After all the struggles, this defense had last year, how, mm -hmm. how satisfying is it for Sean? Mm -hmm. You know, are you saying it's pretty yeah, I mean, even from last year, you know, we were still kind of new to each other, still trying to learn, you know, what, 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 what we're good at, what we, we're not good at, and the things that, you know, that we can really excel at. And now that, you know, things are all coming together, man, and you've seen it now on Sundays. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's definitely beautiful to see how, it has transitioned from last year and all the improvement that we have had on defense. And you now you see guys just out there not thinking about nothing. We're just out, out there to really just try to dominate. So, um, you know, I, I expect to keep continuing to do that and see guys doing that. And, you know, once I'm ready to play, you know, um, uh, to feel right back in and do the same thing. Jeff Simmons in particular, starting to really get a lot of national love, especially after uh, what happened on Sunday. What, what's it been like? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you, you, you've been here for, for a while now. What's it been like to kind of see him really emerge and, and kind of maybe, you know, really have the love to him? Yeah. Oh, no, man, it's a beautiful thing. Um, you know, the dude works hard. He puts in work. And, you know, things like that don't happen by luck. You know, they happen for a reason. That's the reason why he's having so much success. Um, you know, by him just, you know, really playing his role the best that he that he's doing and you know letting the game come to him you see how you know very easily it is for him to be out there go out there and make plays and 
you know, really just kudos to not only him, but also the whole defense, man. I mean, a lot of guys out there playing at a high level and, you know, guys like Kevin Byard and other guys that's on defense that are playing at a high level, Nick, uh, Danico Autry, you know, guys like Jack and all these other guys, they're getting the national, that national type of attention. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing to see that now um, happening.